As always, it is so great to have you here and I hope you're staying safe and healthy out there. Anyways, today we are grabbing a superstar ingredient cauliflower, which is packed with nutrients and very healthy for you. And we're gonna make an extraordinary recipe. We're talking a Spanish cauliflower omelet. This is known in Spain as una tortilla de coliflor. The difference between this omelet and the famous Spanish tortilla de patatas is that it doesn't contain potatoes. Instead, it's filled with sauteed cauliflower, garlic, and onion, which gives the omelet a beautiful lift of flavors. Folks, this recipe is super easy to make, comes together in a little over 30 minutes, and it's the kind of food that's gonna fill your body with so much goodness. This video is sponsored by Tienda.com. La Tienda is an online superstore focusing on selling all things Spain for your home and kitchen. And they've been around since 1996. And like I always tell you, they have the biggest selection of artisan Spanish ingredients like queso manchego, the famous jamón serrano and jamón iberico, marcona almonds, olives, the beautiful canned seafood from Spain, and all the spices you need to make all your favorite Spanish recipes, among so many other great ingredients. And let me tell you, when it comes to cookware, they have an amazing selection of authentic Spanish paella pans that range in size from two servings all the way up to 50 servings, and they even offer classic grilling systems that way, you can always perfectly cook your paella. Folks, visit tienda.com, let them know Albert from Spain on a Fork sent you there, and make sure you use coupon code on a fork during checkout for 10% off your order. Let's begin by filling a stock pot with some water. You wanna go to a little over the halfway point. Then we'll season generously with sea salt and heat it with a high heat. While the water's heating, I'm gonna grab a head of cauliflower. This is about one pound, which is 450 grams. And when you go to the market to pick up your cauliflower, make sure it doesn't have any brown or yellow spots on it, as that's a sign of older cauliflower. I'm gonna begin by removing the outer leaves, then cutting the head into four evenly sized pieces, and then removing a little bit of the stem and we'll cut off the florets from each piece. And make sure to cut the larger florets into smaller ones, that way they're all similar in size. Then we'll add the cauliflower into a colander and rinse it under some cold running water. Once the water comes to a boil in the stock pot, we'll add in the florets of cauliflower and we're gonna boil them between four to six minutes. After about four to six minutes, and the cauliflower is nice and tender, it is ready to go. You know, you can always pierce one of them with a toothpick or even a fork, and if it easily goes in there, but with some resistance, they are perfectly boiled. If you overcook the cauliflower, it's gonna end up with a mushy texture. At this point, I'm gonna remove the stock pot from the heat, and we'll drain it into a colander and leave the cauliflower there. That way all the water can drain. In the meantime, let's get the rest of the ingredients ready. I'm gonna finely chop one medium sized onion and roughly chop four cloves of garlic. Then we'll grab six large eggs, crack them into a large bowl. As always, I'm using cage for organic eggs, but you can use whatever eggs you like here. We'll also add in two tablespoons of chopped fresh parsley, which is about eight grams. You can substitute this for one third the amount of dried parsley. And we'll season with a kiss of sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll whisk it together until everything's well mixed. Then we'll move back to the cauliflower. Once it's cool enough to handle, we'll transfer it into a salad spinner and spin it completely dry. If you don't have a salad spinner, you can just pat it dry with a dishcloth. For the next step, I'm gonna heat a large nonstick fry pan with a medium heat. The size of the pan that I'm using is 11 inches in diameter, which is about 28 centimeters. And I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is 30 milliliters. After a couple minutes, I'm gonna add in the chopped onion and garlic. And we'll mix the ingredients around, that way they're all coated in the olive oil. And as you know, I always like to mix this continuously, that way everything evenly sautés. After about three to four minutes, and the onion is nice and translucent, we'll add in the florets of cauliflower. And we're gonna to continue to mix this and go for a couple more minutes. I'm 
About three to four minutes after adding the cauliflower and it's lightly sauteed, we'll season everything with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give it a mix, that way the seasonings are evenly coating all the ingredients. Then we'll remove the pan from the heat and transfer everything into the bowl with the whisked eggs. And we'll give it a mix, that way everything's well mixed together and then let it sit here for a few minutes, that way all the flavors can develop. In the meantime, I'm going to heat the same fry pan with a low medium heat and drizzle in one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, which is 15 milliliters. The olive oil is not only going to help flavor the omelet, but it's also going to ensure that the eggs don't stick to the pan. After a couple minutes, we'll add in the egg mixture into the pan and make sure all the ingredients are evenly spread out and in a flat layer. After about three to four minutes, it's time to flip the omelet to cook the other side. Now before you do that, make sure you run a spatula through the outer edges of the omelet to ensure that it's not sticking to the pan. Then we'll grab a plate that's slightly smaller than the pan, place it over the omelet, and in one swift move, flip the pan into the plate. Then we'll slide the omelet back into the pan, And we're going to go for another three to four minutes here or until the eggs are cooked through. And at this point, make sure to compact the omelet from the outer edges towards the center as this is what gives it that classic rounded edge. Once the eggs are cooked through, this omelet is ready to go. I'm going to remove the pan from the heat and we'll slide it into a serving dish. Check it out, tortilla de coliflor, a beautiful Spanish cauliflower omelet. Super healthy for you, easy to make, and all done in a little over 30 minutes. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. So for those of you that follow Spain on a fork, you know I'm a huge fan of Spanish omelets, so this I cannot wait to try. Here we go. It is absolutely lush. And that's a word I'm not a big fan of. I just don't know how else to describe this omelet. The eggs are beautifully cooked. And in the interior, you have that cauliflower with the garlic and onion to take things to the next level. Folks, give this a try. I'm so easy to make. Truly perfect for any meal of the day and always next to a crunchy baguette for the ultimate Spanish experience. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Tandy Urban, Debbie Lee, Maria, and Catherine Deshays. And guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, uh, leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and click on the bell icon, that way you can get notified every time I release new content and to become a part of the Spain on a Fork family. Till the next time, hasta luego.